now let us discuss about acceptance of pda we can say that a land base is accepted by pda in two ways the first one is acceptance by final state second approach is acceptance by empty stack so after processing the entire input string if we get final state then we can say that the corresponding language is accepted by pda likewise after processing the entire input string if the stack is empty then we can say that uh, the corresponding language is accepted by push down automata uh, we can say, we, we know that a pda is represented by seven tuple q comma sigma comma tau comma delta comma q not comma z not comma f so where q represents a set of states sigma represents input alphabet tau represents stack alphabet tau represents stack alphabet delta means transition functions q not means initial state z not is the topmost symbol which is present in the stack initially stack contains only one symbol that is z not f means final state now let us discuss here about this acceptance of pda by taking this example l is equal to a power n b power n such that n is greater than or equal to 1 so here this is the language so already we have seen this example uh, i will share the link in the description uh, if you are unfamiliar with this example then please go through that link okay here these transition functions are uh, needed for this example so the first two transition function is delta of q naught comma a comma z naught so q naught means current state a means input symbol z naught means stack stopmost symbol then what is the next state q naught is the next next state if we read input symbol a then simply we have to push this input symbol onto the stack so now the stack will contain a z naught next delta of q naught comma stack uh, input symbol is a where a stack topmost symbol is a if we read input symbol a then simply we have to push a onto the stack so now the stack contains a a already stack contains z naught so now the content of the stack is a z dot the first two are push operations if we read input symbol a then we need to perform the push operation there is no need to change the state next three are pop operations so if the current state is q naught if the input symbol is b and stack stop more symbol is a then we have to change the state from q naught to q1 and we need to perform the pop operation in order to denote the pop operation we are using epsilon next delta of what is the current state now this q1 q1 comma if the input symbol is b and the stack stop more symbol is a then we will be at q1 only for the first b then only we need to change the state from the q0 to q1 for the for the next b's there is no need to change the states we will be at q1 only q1 comma if we read input symbol b then simply we have to perform the pop operation pop operation is denoted with epsilon next delta of q1 comma epsilon comma z naught here the input symbol is epsilon that means the entire input string is processed epsilon denotes end of the string and z naught denotes stack is empty okay then this is the first transition q2 comma z naught for the first one uh, for the for acceptance of final state we need to use this one and for the second approach acceptance by empty stack we need to use this one q1 comma epsilon this z not denotes that uh, we are not going to change the content of the stack so previously stack contained z not so we have to replace z not by z not only so there is no need to change the content of the stack but we need to change the state from q1 to q2 this q2 is the final state this is the first approach final state or what is the second transition q1 comma epsilon q1 means we will be at q1 state only but we have to pop the stack already stack contains z naught so we have to pop that z naught so we will get epsilon okay now let us see with the help of a string here the language is equal number of a's are followed by equal number of b's so the possible strings are if n is equal to 1 a b if n is equal to 2 a a b b if n is equal to 3 triple a triple b like that next uh, uh, here uh, let us take a string this is nothing but instantaneous description so let the current state is q naught comma let the input string is a a b b comma 
uh, let initially stack content is z not initially stack is empty initially stack is empty in order to denote a move we have to use this fall empty this is nothing but fall empty symbol okay so current state is q not input symbol is a as well as stack stop move symbol is z not so q not a z not q not a z not means what is the next state q not is the next state here this a is processed so the remaining string is a b b and what is the content of the stack now a z not we have to push this a onto the stack a z not so this is id now instantaneous description next current state is q not input symbol is a and stack stop move symbol is a so q not a a q not a a means q not comma a a z not so q not comma here this a is processed so the remaining input string is b b comma we have to push this a onto the stack so that's why a a z not a a z not okay next q not current state is q not input symbol is b as well as stack stop move symbol is a so q not b a q not b a means we have to change the state from q not to q1 comma epsilon epsilon means we have to perform the pop operation so we need to pop the top most symbol present in the stack here this b is processed so we have one more b comma here this is nothing but epsilon epsilon means we have to pop top most symbol so after popping this a then we will get a z not then we will get a z not a z not next current state is q1 uh, input symbol is b as well as stack stop move symbol is a q1 ba means q1 ba means we will be at q1 only this b is completely processed so now the stack is empty uh, if the stack uh, now the input string is empty if the input string is empty then we can write it as epsilon why because a a b b means we can write it as a a b b epsilon okay epsilon indicates that input string is empty so here which operation we have to perform q1 ba means we have to perform epsilon epsilon means pop operation so we have to pop this a from the stack so q1 comma epsilon comma z not next q1 input symbol is a stack stop move symbol is z not so q1 epsilon z not means what is the transition so q2 comma z not q2 comma z not so now the entire input string is completely processed and we got the final state as q2 so we can say that this language is accepted by the pda this is the first approach what is the first approach after processing the entire input string if we reach it to the final state then we can say that the language is accepted by the pda here we got q2 so we can say that this language is accepted by the pda here q2 comma z not so that means we are not changing the content of the stack now okay so we can write this as so here what is the uh, let us uh, uh, write here so q comma q comma and what is the second one input string uh, let us denote input string by w so q comma w comma uh, let us denote content of the stack by uh, let us denote content of the stack by z not initially stack contains z not fall empty star so it denotes after many transitions after many moves if we get p comma epsilon comma gamma where p means final state epsilon means input string is completely processed gamma means a list of stack symbols stack symbols so that is denoted by tau star so we can say that a language is accepted by final state after here this is the initial state initial id initial instantaneous description it contains a triple current state string and initially uh, the stack is empty after many transitions if we get p comma epsilon comma gamma where p means final state here we need to get the final state if p belongs to the final state as well as gamma means a list of stack symbols if the stack may contain some symbols then there is no need to worry about here our focus is mainly on if we reach it to the final state or not here we got the final state so we can say that this language is accepted by the pda now let us see the second approach what is the second approach acceptance by empty stack we need to change only one move here if the current state is q1 input symbol is epsilon and stack stop move symbol is z not then we have to make this move then we will be at q1 state only but we need to perform the pop operation 
we need to perform the pop operation so q1 comma epsilon means epsilon we know what is the meaning of the epsilon epsilon means the stack is empty so now this z0 will be popped from the stack so now the stack is empty so that is denoted by epsilon here after processing the entire input string the stack is empty stack is empty so we can say that this language is accepted by the pda so now let us uh, see the formula here so what is the id here so first one is state next input string a stack content is z0 after many transitions if we get p comma epsilon comma gamma here what is p p means it may be any state present in the push down automata it may be q0 or q1 or q2 or qf it may be any state we should not bother about that so this epsilon specifies that that input string is completely processed whereas this gamma this gamma should be empty so that means gamma must belongs to the epsilon gamma must belongs to the epsilon so if the stack is empty as well as if we get one of the uh, state then we can say that our language is accepted by the pda whereas what is the first approach after many transitions if p b, p means final state and this gamma may be this gamma may contains any number of stack symbols then we can say that our uh, language is accepted by the pda